Well, hello there, people of the internet. So, about three months ago, maybe even more, I made a video about this phone, the Galaxy S6. And in that video, I said that it may get the Android O update. It didn't. Not officially. But that fact didn't prevent some people from making their own Android O for the Galaxy S6. And it's available on XDA developers, it's still a beta, but I got it. I used it for two weeks as my, on my daily phone, the only phone I have. And here's my impression. First of all, the installation, it's really simple. If you have something like TWRP installed, it's as simple as just downloading the zip and flashing it. That's it. If you don't have TWRP, you just have to use Odin to install it. Again, that takes like three minutes to do and to install the OS, another five minutes. So in total, it's like 15 minutes to get to the lock screen. The first thing I noticed after installing is how fast it is. Boot times especially. From the boot screen to the lock screen, it's really, really fast. Partly because it's not really bloated. There's nothing pre-installed, except for like one or two dev apps. And I did manually install OpenG apps, which are just, you know, Google apps, Google Calendar, Google Camera, YouTube, all that Google stuff. The main reason I actually updated, well, updated, is because of the always-on display. It works perfectly. It's excellent. It works just as it says on the box, it's always on, it shows all the no notifications. Uh, it, yeah, I showed that, that that's, actually, that's how it works. You can't actually select a wallpaper or background for always on display, but why would you though? And yes, you can turn on or off in the settings and double tap to turn on. That is so cool. It doesn't really affect the battery that much, if at all. I mean, it does, but yeah. Oh yeah, and use the proximity sensor, so if your phone is in your pocket or in a case or covered, whatever the phone itself display turns off completely in general the system does feel much more brisk it is much more faster it does load apps a bit faster it switches through apps a bit faster again because it's not preloaded with any apps third-party apps it's just android it's just google pretty much as pure as android it can get this is all based on linux os after all you get the settings from Android O, the notification system from Android O, the battery saver from Android O, the lock screen from Android O, a lot of stuff from Android O. And when I first installed it, it did come with Pixel Launcher or whatever it was called. It's kind of a replica of the Pixel Launcher, but I didn't really float my boat. I, I didn't, I wasn't really all that good, so I just stuck with Google Now Launcher. I've been using that for years. Google Assistant. When I was running the stock version of the system, I got Google Assistant immediately, and when I installed this mod, it said, it said you have Google, Google Assistant. And the Google Assistant then decided to stop assisting, it just went away, I, I didn't, it, it stopped working, I don't know why. So, the good things, it's faster, it's prettier, it's less bloated, uh, always on display, and, uh, it, well, see, that's a problem, there are a lot of hiccups, that you won't find on the forum. Something the developers do admit is video playback is utter shit. Well, it's not really utter shit, but it's crappy. Full HD playback is a bit, well, it's, it's manageable. It sometimes does tend to drop frames, it does tend to stutter, but mostly it is watchable. 1440p, it drops frames like mad, it, it won't even work and my voice is all gone. <clears throat> 720p 60 or even 1080p 60 simply does not work, it freezes the entire playback and it drops pretty much all the frames. So yeah, video playback is relatively hindered on this mod, but it gets worse. I'm really sad to say that one of the best features, one of the best things about the Galaxy S6 is hindered, is the camera. Now you do get to dive what I think it is, the stock Google camera, but you can only take pictures with it, nothing else. Oh yeah, and panorama. The moment you start recording videos, the app crashes. If you turn on your front facing camera, the app crashes. So the solution, get another camera app. It's not that simple. I tried manual camera for a while, I did refund afterwards. And it does take pictures, but it does limit you to 8 megapixels. So does the Google, app, Google camera app. It limits you to 8 megapixels on the rear camera. It's a bit sad since the camera is 16 megapixels. No problem, download open camera. It does not limit you to 8 megapixels, it does use all the 16 megapixels. However, the app is, well, it does take pictures and it does record video, not, 
but it's kind of sluggish and slow to be honest but it does work it does take pictures it does give you control of your camera however videos no it, it, i'm not sure if and no it doesn't none of the apps record video Yeah, and the front-facing camera works in pretty much every other app other than the camera app that comes with the device. Now, battery life is... well, it's impaired. I gotta, I gotta be honest, it's not, it's not improved. Battery life on the Galaxy S6 in general wasn't that great to begin with, and with this mod, it's, I'm afraid to say it's even worse. Not a whole lot, but enough to make me really uncomfortable and when I come back home from school at like 7pm, the battery is already either on 10% or my phone is completely dead. I don't play games I'm in school, mostly. But in general, there are just a lot of bugs, really. The, the uh, heart rate sensor, that refuses to work. I can't log into S Health, which is odd. Sometimes they are just random graphical glitches like lines and dots and blacks, and then phone re reboots, and yeah, I'm just a lot of bugs. So would I recommend this? Well, I use it for two weeks and I can't really recommend it as a daily driver. You can give it a try. That's what I did. I gave it a try. Um, right now I'm running the stock version of the Android 7 for Galaxy S6. Before installing the mod, I made a backup on TWRP and I just, just did, the, did the recovery after clearing the cache. And did the recovery and it works. I did have a few boot loops. But it works. So we sum up. Should you try it? Yes. Should you use it as a daily driver? No, 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 no. Don't even think about it. Again, I think the devs did a great job, but it's just not there yet. It's, again, still a beta. Give it a try. Give the devs a feedback. Help them. Report the bugs. Send log report. Some logs. Help them if you can, if you want. But as a daily driver, I just really can't recommend it. So yeah, thank you, thank you guys so much for watching, um, I do have more videos coming up, um, there are new people actually who are constantly coming to this channel, now I have 655 subscribers if I'm not mistaken, and that's huge, like 600, can you imagine, like on one place 655 people, and just waiting for me to make a bloody video, that's awesome, I really do appreciate that, so yeah. Um, thank you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please do make sure to like and subscribe and I'll be seeing you. Peace.